Hi friends, happy Saturday! Today I'm sharing our weekend trip to Colima in what I consider to be the best things to do in the city. If you've been with us for a while, you know we made a quick stop here on our way back to Guadalajara from Manzanillo and we promised to return to explore it properly. If you'd like to see our experience, keep watching! The drive from Guadalajara to Colima is about 3 hours and the three tolls were around 15 US dollars. Because we left early, we got to the city around 10 a.m. and luckily our Airbnb was ready and we were able to check in right away. This place we booked for just $33 a night was amazing. Cute bohemian decor located in a quiet area of the city, free street parking, the host was fantastic, she gave us a lot of good recommendations, and to top it all off, full Mexican breakfast for two was included from the coffee shop located on the first floor of the building. All we had to do was let the host know what we wanted from the menu and what time we wanted the food delivered in the morning. On both occasions, breakfast was delicious and such a great way to start our day. If you know us, you know we love Airbnb and supporting locals. If you'd like to stay at any of the properties we featured on the channel, including this one, consider joining our Patreon community where we share every single listing as well as many other additional value items and tips. Now, after we got settled into our room for the weekend, we headed out for lunch at a popular local restaurant called El Charco de la Higuera to try some traditional Colima dishes. This restaurant is located just a few blocks from the city center and has a nice terrace overlooking a beautiful park and old church. We ordered the chile en nogada, which is a stuffed poblano chile topped with a sweet creamy walnut based sauce with pomegranate seeds and cilantro and the tatemado estilo colima dish, which is slow cooked pork in a guajillo chili pepper based thick salsa. Uh, the meat was delicious and super tender. Also, I like this second dish a lot because it reminded me of a dish my mom and grandma used to cook often when I was a kid, so it had a nostalgic element for me as well. Uh, walking through the park after lunch, we noticed a lot of ashes falling from the sky, which I don't think I've seen before, but I assume it's a common occurrence here with the Colima volcano being one of Mexico's most active volcanoes. In the afternoon, we decided to visit the Echo Park, which is a wildlife conservation center that focuses on increasing environmental awareness and promoting spending more time in nature and connecting with animals. I enjoyed the abundant vegetation here and the fact that some of the spaces were quite open to the extent that some animals were able to get out and roam freely. The admission ticket is just two US dollars and for a few extra pesos you can purchase carrots as well to feed some of the animals. It was a nice place to spend about two hours in the afternoon walking around in the shade provided by the dense vegetation. Later in the day, we returned to the city center and went up to Terraza Trapiche, a rooftop bar in the Ceballos Hotel overlooking the main square in the Basilica Menor de Colima Cathedral. This is the perfect spot to try some local craft beers created by Cerveceria de Colima and enjoy a delicious dinner with an amazing view. Both food and drinks were outstanding, the service was great as well. This is something I 100% recommend you do if you visit Colima. Thank you. 
So day number one was definitely a success. For day number two, we decided to go visit Comala, the only magic town in the state of Colima, located just 20 minutes outside of the city. Known as El Pueblo Blanco de América due to its white painted building facades, Comala is a fascinating small town with narrow cobblestone streets, colorful bougainvilleas, delicious cuisine, and incredible views of the Colima volcano. Not visible here uh, though because of those beautiful fluffy clouds, but take my word for it, on a clear day it's a view that takes your breath away. Comala is also known for its amazing pastries, but also for its famous Comala Punch, a low alcohol content beverage usually served as an aperitif, either cold or at room temperature. El Ponche de Comala comes in at least 15 different flavors, with the most traditional being pomegranate, coconut, and nuts such as pistachio and almond. Other common flavors include coffee, peanut, tamarind, blackberry, plum, and rompope. There are many stores that sell it and all of them offer complimentary samples, so you'll be able to try a bunch of them and decide which one you like best before you purchase. For a nice lunch, I recommend Don Comalon, a restaurant located right in the corner of the central plaza, serving delicious tacos, ceviches, and more. Oh, and here you can try more local beers. Uh, this time I ordered a Cayaco, a light and refreshing beer produced by the same Cerveceria de Colima. If you're looking for a place to get an espresso shot or an iced coffee after your meal, make sure you check out Casa Volcán, a cute coffee shop just down the street from the main church, La Parroquia de San Miguel Arcángel. A name that is often associated with Comala is Alejandro Rangel Hidalgo, a local artist and graphic designer who reached international fame in the 60s when he created a line of greeting cards for UNICEF highlighting Christmas customs around the world. Today, his childhood home called the Nogueras Hacienda, including his estate, chapel, and museum, are all open to the public. The estate showcases his living quarters and gardens, while the museum exhibits his paintings, the UNICEF cards, his personal collection of traditional Colima ceramics, and his furniture designs. We were only able to access the surrounding gardens as the rest of the property was booked for a private event, but just take a look at these beautiful, luscious plants. It feels like you're walking through a conservatory or botanical garden. Hopefully when you visit, you'll find the museum open as well, so you can further learn about this local multi-talented artist who had a great social and cultural impact in this area. Friends, if you think this concludes our second day in Colima, you're dead wrong. We have two more stops on our list. The first is Ciudad Villa de Álvarez, where we got to try the famous Paletas de la Villa. You can make this stop just like we did on our way back to the city from Comala with absolutely no detours. Uh, this family business ice cream shop opened in 1957 and sells more than 60 popsicle flavors made with real fruit and cow milk. We tried the kiwi and coca-cola flavors which are water-based and we just had to get two milk paletas as well. So we went with avocado and their classic vanilla with ate. Ate is a sweet fruit paste, by the way. Uh, if you watch the Morelia video, we talked about it when we visited the candy museum there. Anyway, the vanilla was probably my favorite, but they were all pretty good, honestly, and the location is great because you can sit down and enjoy them in the beautiful park by the San Francisco de Asis Church.
Now don't judge us, but after those four popsicles, we went to get dinner. I mean, not right after, but pretty soon after that. But hey, God knows when we'll be back in Colima, so we had to take advantage, right? Plus this dinner we followed with was pretty light because it's mainly a seafood restaurant. It's called La Tostada y La Guayaba, and uh, they sell the best, most delicious tostadas and a ton of other amazing seafood dishes. But I was craving tostadas de aguachile negro, and to say this place hit the spot is an understatement. Uh, very good food, amazing service, and laid-back vibe. Just the perfect note to end our memorable Colima weekend. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. We definitely enjoyed exploring Colima, and per usual, we added new things to our wish list for a future return visit. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and activate notifications if you'd like to see more content like this and help support the channel. Till next time, stay adventurous, have fun, and keep chasing colors.